Good morning. Thank you for coming today. I'm so happy that the Holy Spirit led you to worship today on this first Sunday in Advent. We begin preparing for the arrival of Jesus on Christmas today, and I'm happy that I could be here along with Pastor Carl Hoisler to lead you in worship. Uh, we'll be lighting our first candle on our Advent wreath this morning. Uh, matter of fact, we'll do that during the singing of the very first hymn. But again, thank you for coming this morning. You know, I like to say we have other choices. There's other things we could be doing today. There's other choices we could have made. We made the correct choice. We're here together as brothers and sisters in Christ to give our thanks and praise to God for just all the wonderful blessings we have in our lives. And if you have blessings in your lives, be thankful today because uh, those blessings can be gone in a heartbeat. So I thank you for coming this morning. And as always, every time we gather, whether it's a Sunday or Monday or Wednesday or whenever, we hear God's Word. And we hear and read about God's great love for each of us through His Son and through our Savior Jesus. But in addition to hearing and reading about the love of God, I pray that while you're with us today, you experience that same love. So if you are able, take a moment, greet those around you in the love of God. Martin Luther was once asked, if heaven is so great, if heaven is so great, then why are we here? And Luther's response was, the only reason we're here is so that we can share God's love and the Savior with others. And that's what we strive to do here at St. Paul Lutheran Church. Not perfect, but forgiven and thankful and blessed and when those around us have blessings, we help them to rejoice. When those around us have problems, we encourage them to look up to their Savior. We reach out and we help them. And God bless you. That, that's what so many of you have been doing the last couple of days and today with Pastor Green and, and Cindy as they struggle with the unexpected loss of his mother. That's what so many of you have been doing with me this past week as I struggle with what's going on with my good friend, Pastor Bruce Darnley. And I see it all the time among you, reaching out to one another within this church and outside this church in the love of God so that they learn that when we bring our problems to God, He fills our hearts with His divine peace. Your lives are so important because when you leave here, God's love is shining through you to the broken people around you. I see it all the time. People see the signs of this world. And all around us, people are becoming more scared and more worried and more frightened and overwhelmed and they don't know what to do and they turn everywhere except to the one thing that can help them. And that's where God uses you. His love shines through your words and through your actions, bringing them into His divine presence so that they can learn about His divine strength and love and peace and hope. Oh, it is Advent, and we see the signs. And each day we are ready for blessings. Each day we're ready for problems, and we look up to our Savior. And each day we are ready to help others. So glad you're here. 